That is where we begin tonight at 9, remembering the lives lost. The community continues to wrap its arms around the victims of the Miller Brewery shooting. Hours after many employees headed back to work for the first time, a vigil was held on Marquette's campus tonight. Fox 6's Ashley Sears is live and explains some of the most poignant words, Ash, came from a brewery employee who was at work the day of the shooting. Yeah, ben Byron Johnson says he feels blessed to be alive. He is sharing his story to inspire others to come together for peace. Dale Hudson. For each name. Janine Levitz. Red. Out loud. Jesse Valley Jr. A bell tolls. Donna Walker. During a solemn remembrance. Trevor Whistler. People gather inside Church of the Jesu to reflect and mourn nearly a week after tragedy. We are here to grieve the loss of husbands, fathers, brothers, sons, friends, co workers, and neighbors. Many in the pews never knew the victims but are showing support. I'd like to extend my deepest condolences to the victims' family. Please remember. Being Milwaukee strong is a clap of death. For Byron Johnson, I return to work tomorrow with pride and dignity. The events of last week are still very raw. I will tread back through the very path where several co workers were slaughtered last Wednesday. He was working at the brewery during the mass shooting. He tried to stay calm until police arrived. We just locked ourselves in the nearest place. Uh, where we knew to, to lock ourselves in. And we stayed there until tactical police uh, got us out. Johnson says moments like this are helping him heal. When you're able to depend on others, uh, it makes that sharing that burden easier. Together in prayer and comfort, a community grows stronger. We want the families of those follow in our prayers. And Byron Johnson will return to work tomorrow. He's asking the community to continue to keep his fellow employees in their thoughts. Reporting live at Marquette, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. Ashley, thank you. Another